Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where uh, today is I'm pretty sure my last weekend in this Airbnb at the time of recording so that's fun uh, also I am right now just downloaded the patch 4 um, which apparently means you can edit hirelings now which I'm never gonna use uh, well, I say that, but probably not, never gonna use, unless Asterian leaves me and I need a rogue. Um, and... What else? Something about Withers wardrobe? I don't know what that is, but apparently it's helpful. Uh, the big thing is that they've changed the necromancy spell so that you can recast it on, a, on the same person. So, like, if you walk up and, and you cast a spell, and this has been really annoying for me, because I'll, like, reload. Because I'm like, no, I want to talk to them, and, like, why can't I just recast the spell again? Because they just die sometimes. It's like, oh, no, they don't want to talk to their killer, and then they die. And you, like, like fully die, and you can't click on them. Well, they're already dead, but, like, you can't click on them again. All you can do is loot their bodies. And that was really annoying. I didn't like that at all. It didn't make sense. Um... So now what you can do um, is cast a spell, and if they don't want to talk to you, you can do the thing where, you know, you cast Disguise Self or whatever, Wild Shape, you know, something, 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 um, or Change Person, I think, you know, and then you can cast the spell again. Um, so, so that's nice. I'm very excited about that. Um... Especially now that I'm a now that I'm an oathbreaker, although I do have a necromancer, I've been playing a lot on, so that'll be nice for him too. Um, I did. I read most of the like highlights. I can't remember if there was anything else pertinent to me. It started to seem to kind of go down the territory of uh, spoilers. I, there is a guy that I will occasionally watch. He'll just do like a, a, a spoiler free reading of the patch notes. So I'll, re I'll watch him and I started watching him a little bit. But uh, oh, they did a bunch of colorblind settings, uh, which I'm not colorblind, so I'm not worried about, but that's nice. Um, but yeah, I am pretty sure. I don't even really want to worry about it too much. Our fiery friend, we need to bring McCran. Blah, 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 blah. Is she okay? I know we already Private needed that, but I had an exclamation point all of a sudden. Hey, you. Uh, okay, no, we're good. All right. Um, as far as I know, we are... They also did a graphical update. Uh, I'm so sorry, Asterian's gonna wear that stupid hat. He doesn't have to, but it, it is good for him. Uh, we are going to go to the portion of the Underdark that leads to Moonrise Towers today. Um, I feel like I've done everything I can down here. If not, I'm sure my later, <laughs> later gameplays. Where did I get this? A class action. Is this, an, is this, I mean, that's from the amulet. Infuse a creature with psionic force. If it reaches zero hit points, it heals instead of falling unconscious. That is sick. I don't remember getting that. I feel like sometimes I get back here and it hasn't been that long since I've played, but I'm like, I have no memory of this place. <laughs> like, of, of my spell list. I'm always like, what is going on down here? Um. But, okay, so if we're gonna go to Moonrise Towers, we need Will. We need Carlac, obviously. And we should probably bring a Starion. Does anybody else have any? I mean, Shadowheart is the thing. With, with um, the temple y stuff that's been going on. Yes. Alright, real quick. I need to change. I need to change the color of his, uh, his robe. Oh, yes. Okay. We can, we can work with this. We can work with this. Like, a dark purple would be good, but, uh, but we can work with this. Um. I can never remember. I wish it would tell you. Like, this is an update I want to have. I want to be able to tell what color... I have on myself. Like, what color is on my armor? Because I don't think you can look at that. Um. What to 
do. I have a little crown. Have I always had that little crown? Oh, also apparently One Scratch day, will now fetch basically anything that you throw in, in camp, which is hilarious and adorable. I have a lot on my mind. Always a delight to speak oh, with you. Oh, yes. What can I do? Look at this. That looks so good on him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I question the wisdom of that decision, but I'll Listen, be here. I, lo I love you. Bye. <laughs> I need to go talk to the guy who doesn't like me. Oh, we can go. What do you need now? Listen, I'm so sorry. I need you in my party. Darling. I'm so lead on. I'm so sorry. We need to we need to take this off. Or at least make it not visible. Yes. Looking ahead. Um I think I need to talk to Withers super fast. I need a quick word. Apparently he will explain how the wardrobe works, which I don't even know if I've gotten to the point where I need a war the wardrobe. I don't know what the wardrobe does. <laughs> Fate spins along as it should. I'm so happy for you. Does thou require a new ally? Nope. Oh, my okay, help. apparently the, uh, what the heck? What the heck? Why is that? With haste. Why is that sack? Why does that? Why do you have fireworks going on, Shadowheart? Why you, your pillow? Your, it's a pillow. Her pillow is made of. There's fireworks in there, Shadowheart. That's not healthy. I I know that you're all about pain and stuff. It looks like the incense caught on fire on her pillow. <laughs> These are incense sticks. Oh, that's funny. Visual glitch. Um, but no, we have we have a winning squad here, and now I'm scared, but we're gonna we're gonna go. We're gonna leave camp. I'm a little I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> but we have Will. He's definitely the one most invested in going to Moonrise Towers. Ay 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 ay. This is the elevator. Let me new save. Elevator. Elevator. Uh, I don't think this is... I don't know if that number is quite right. 63 hours <laughs> in Act 1, but it's close enough. It's close enough. Because uh, I think one time I left the game off for a few hours cause I, and I didn't come back. Like I was like, I'll come back to it, and I didn't, and I forgot it was on. Um, But it's close enough. That's ridiculous. How... how I spent so much time. Let's see what this so does. So much time in Act 1. I'm not even done with Act 1 yet. <laughs> uh, I'm about to progress my adventure. Make sure to tie up any loose ends before advancing. I'm ready. I think. If not, we'll deal with the consequences of those later. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to think. I, I was just contemplating if I should let my paladin use some of the mind worm powers, but I think she's like now that she's an oathbreaker, but she's still herself. She hasn't just like gone off the deep end, you know. I do feel like I had a discussion in the comments with somebody about like how I did feel like. <gasps> oh, I did! Oh my gosh, that was Act One! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh wow! Yay! <laughs> Oh, that's so awesome. Now we're in Act 2. Are we in Act 2 now? Oh my goodness, that's so exciting. Um, but yeah, I did have a discussion about how I felt like my character overreached. Paladins, I feel like, would have a problem as seeing themselves and being seen by others as judge, jury, and executioner, right? Even if they're holy, you know, or whatever, like, we all know that holy, like, holiness, divinity, or the idea, like, religion can be twisted into evil purposes, you know? Um, so even if someone sees themselves as being, like, a hammer of justice, like, who are you to decide? What is justice, you know? In this world, there's a gazillion gods. I guess in our world, there's a gazillion gods too, really, you know? Like divinity entities, you know? people, The things that people believe in. And like each one has like a sort of different idea on who, on how, what is right and what is wrong. And like, you know, who's anyone to say that their version is right, you know? Um, of course, everybody thinks their version is right. So I feel like with paladins, they would need to be careful and my character is perhaps realizing it now that like she took justice into her own hands, right? She 
she decided independently that these people, as terrible as they were, deserved to die and did that. She went too far, perhaps, and the game, like the paladin class, has a built-in, even if it seems a bit, like, not arbitrary, but too rigid, almost, sometimes, where it's like, listen, there's, there's very little gray area in, like, a paladin moral code, um, or, like, a divine moral code, you know, specific ones, and so, but she went outside the bounds of that, and the game, slash the, you know, the, the system that we're using said, nope, you have broke the rules, and now you have to face the consequences, you know, like, you went too far, you know, which is an interesting way to look at it, in my mind. Uh, what does that say? Absolutist expedition trunk, all right, Careful, Asterian? I bind. Please don't hate me too much, buddy. It actually does bother me a little. <laughs> Simple. Like, I, I know, I know he's supposed to, like... He's, I don't want him to leave is what I'm worried about. Ooh, no. I don't want him to leave. I'm worried he'll leave. And I'm like, I don't like it when companions leave, you know? But I can't I can't change who I am as a person for him. Um, boom, boom. Here, you take that too. Yeah, why not? You have those. Potion of Minor. I am so bad with organization. I literally want to pay somebody come to on come on. and organize my stuff for me. I don't want to do it. I don't. Mm, let's see. Anything? A plaque. We offer our prayers to the Dark Lady, uh -oh. whose comfort and grace heals all. I'm just gonna have to. At some point, I will definitely have to bring. I'll have to have a character who brings Shadowheart around a lot. Oh, for this particular area, you know. I feel like this game is a little less forgiving. Like you, you, you get oh, hello, weary traveler. Are you Gandalf? <laughs> is that you? <laughs> Something's on my mind. Who <laughs> there, wanderer? Stay thy course a moment to indulge in a. Oh, man. I'm scared. May I inquire if, perchance, you retain <gasps> among your traveling companions a man who adheres to the given name? I Gale. almost brought Gale. I almost brought Gale because I was like, we're going to like a magic-ish place. I'm like, I'm, I, I almost said it out loud and I didn't. But it's like, oh, it'd be nice to bring Gale because we're going to like a magic-y tower type place and I'm sure Gale would have some insight. Gosh, freaking dang it. Um, as a matter of fact, I do. He's resting in camp. Uh, ever a man of leisure. Would it pain you greatly to assist me along the little voyage I intend to undertake to this aforementioned camp? Yeah, I want to, I'd like to know first who I'd be bringing to see Gale. Should it be the nature of our acquaintance that interests you, well, you may safely classify Gale and I as friends. Should it be the nature of your present interlocutor that you desire to drag from the dark and unknown, I shall be glad to aid in your quest for illumination and identify myself as Elminster. Elminster or Wizards, am I right? If this answer satisfies you, let us linger no longer in this... <laughs> in this... Yeah? You okay? Limbo of indecision. But set course for your camp forthwith. Okay, let's go... Let's go. I'm not gonna send someone to my camp without supervision. I hope this doesn't blow up in my face. Oh, a splendid notion. Please. Nothing. Like, actually blow up in my face. I hope Gale does not blow up in my face. <laughs> like, I am. Like, I'm. I'm like, ah. <laughs> they all speak the same, these wizards. My thanks for your excellent guidance. Ah. And yonder I spy the object of my pursuit. Uh oh. Elminster? Uh -oh. The very same, Gale. And a fair bit miffed he is, too. Finding himself forced to expose his best pair of boots to so many miles of country road on your behalf. I don't understand. How so on my behalf? I was bid to spare neither time nor my own self to find you. She sent me oh. Gale. You know of whom I speak. But why? 
out with it, Elminster. Please. Young man, has your sojourn away from Waterdeep washed away your decorum as well as your patience? Nigh a ten day I've gone without honest fare. Uh. Worthy of a name, drank naught, but what the sky entitled my thirst. Oh, please. Why, some bread, cheese, and a cup of wine would appear unto me a feast. Surely you will begrudge me a mite of rest and repast before I get out with it <laughs> wizards <laughs> um yes Gail where is your decorum no I suppose we could part with a few of our rations and a great kindness that would be see Gail yeah. even in these barren His face. parts the art of hospitality begets inspired new works oh yeah if only one keeps up the practice oh father <laughs> fine, fine. I'll turn a deaf ear to the clarion calls with which my scorned stomach beseeches me. Oh my gosh. Graver matters are at hand. We can give him some food. Plenty to digest. After oh all, my gosh. a good deal to stew over, if you will. I just... Words ladled with import should be savored so as to better this man. absorb their meaning. Wouldn't you I'm gonna. Elminster. Yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> um, you see. I, You're grounded. Um, well, well, that is to say, Gail, my boy, I've come to address a most pressing matter. I'll speak as plainly as I can. Oh, God. For swearing the accustomed frills that decorate my speech. We are here to be here for ages. I'm here on behalf of. Of Mistra. Mm -hmm. The message and the charge I bring you are hers. <laughs> um, I'm seeing new expressions on Gail's face. That's interesting. Uh, speak fast then, for none of this pertains to me. I am curious, because I've mentioned it before, how wizards are kind of like clerics of Mistra. Like, I assume she has clerics. But she also has wizards, you know? And and I am a former uh, divine paladin, so I would... I feel like that would be like a... Something that would kind of be like a stab in the side, you know? You were sent here as an actual divine messenger. Oh, Mistra's delicate feet are ill-suited for the hardships of the Oh! World. You know where you went wrong, Gail. No, we needn't dwell on that here and now. But even so... You're to be given a chance of redemption. Mistra would consider forgiveness. She would consider what she considers to be forgiveness. Interesting. Mistra is aware of the misadventures that have befallen you both. She knows of your strife with the absolute, that most insidious of evils. Um, see, this is a perfect line. If even the gods know, why are we facing these threats alone? That is the exact question that I feel like a questioning paladin would have, and is one of the reasons that she has fallen to her current status. If even the gods know, why are we facing these threats alone? They choose the instruments of their will with great precision. Sometimes the single drops we think we are do not realize what waves we are building up to be yeah do not discount yourself and by the same token do not discount your enemy you must know that the absolute is more dangerous than you can possibly conceive it threatens all who live even those who are undying it threatens the gods, the weave, the very fabric of the universe itself. Well, no wonder they feel threatened. That is why I have come here to charge you, Gale, with its destruction. It is Mistress' belief that only you can. Oh. Yeah, Gale alone. That's interesting. And also, but that's Mistress' opinion. And also, like, now, because I've been curious, like, why she hasn't been, like, 
I, I thought she was more of a fickle lover, but apparently she was angry, maybe, at him. Because I'm like, why isn't she helping him out? Like, he was her favorite, but, you know, like, gods are fickle. So that's, that's what I assumed. Um, is that she was like, oh, look what you've done. You know, like, oh, away with you now. Like, oh, you've, uh, you've lost my favor, my grace. You know, blah, 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 blah. Um, she's a former mortal turned goddess, so... You know, <laughs> just the the gods often have uh, they they exemplify our worst traits in many ways. Mirus, mistress, mistaken, I will be the absolute destroyer. Um, a gale alone? How so? The all. The all. Oh, Precisely. she wants him to be a bomb. Mistra has granted me the power to stop the clock, as it were, on the orb's rush to overpower you. Instead, you will be able to unleash its lethal combustion at so will. So why can't she remove it? Interesting. Oh. This could be help or hindrance. We shall have to see. You must find the heart of the absolute. Whatever that may be. And use yourself as the oh uh, my gosh. catalyst that will burn it from this world. Uh, we'll be rid of both the absolute and Gale of one fell swoop. Oh my gosh. It's monstrous. You're tasking him to kill himself. He is not. But it seems that Mistra is. Oh my gosh. It brings me no pleasure saying this, my friend. But such is Mistra's will. Yours must be the sacrifice that will undo the absolute. And for your sacrifice, you will be redeemed. In death? Such is Mistra's promise. What is it? Wait. With that, I've said my sorry piece. The need only bestow unto thee the charm I was bid. So she could, I feel like she could remove this from him. It is done. Both charge and charm have been committed into your care. To you, I commit into care Gale himself. I count on you to shepherd him well on this strangest there, of There journeys. is 100% other ways. There's still a long journey ahead. We'll find another way. Or some other fortune altogether. Like moons make swell and wane the nescient seas. Nescient seas. So too, the skies driven gods ordain the tidal fates of mortal days. And yet, a notion born in lonely hours. Come, ebb, come, flow, come. All that is beyond the breadth of our dominion. Be a moon unto yourself. Control my own fate. Even the waves of fate can break upon the shores of wind. Hell yeah. Farewell, my friend. Farewell, Elminster. I'm glad she chose you. Stabilize Gale's Netherese orb. So now Gale has been stabilized for how long, right? Like, is this something that's go that could last f forever, or is there just she's just elongated the clock essentially? That's interesting, and I feel like if I was him, I would 100% be like, why can't she just remove it from me? She's just being petty. She's the goddess of the weave. She could just take it out of him, you know? Ah, uh, but no. Oh my goodness. Yeah. My alarm? Oh my. Well, let's talk with Gail. I love the environment here. An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. Yeah, well... I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But those are hard to come by these days. Elminster... Mm -hmm. 
this, so he's probably somebody famous whose name I do not know because I do not know anything. <laughs> uh, I'd always imagined Elminster to be more imposing. The doddering act is merely an illusion, one he's most adept at maintaining. Elminster is the most formidable wizard in the realms. Perhaps in existence. For Mistra to have sent him. The severity of her bidding could not be clearer. Or weigh more heavily on me. Time seems so infinite when you're young. A month is an age. A year is a lifetime. It is a strange feeling. To realize how little of it one might have left. Oh, yep. You're seriously considering doing what Elminster said? Of course. We offer the clearest solution to our problem. All I have to do is find the right place and time. Really? Close my eyes and let go. Really? Then the slate will be clean. Wrongs will be righted. The absolute will be gone. And I along with it. And anybody else who's in your vicinity, uh, let's not forget that. And also, I did not necessarily expect Gale to be the type to like just willingly go forward with this without some sort of questioning. Uh, what about me? Am I safe around you? I don't understand. Can't Mistress just destroy the Absolute or Elminster himself? I've no doubt she has the power to do so, but as for the permission, Ao would not look kindly on her meddling in mortal affairs. Divine intervention has a tendency to make things worse, not better. As for Elminster, he saved the realms more times than legend can recount. But to take on a god is no easy feat, even for him. My orb is the best chance we have. And only I can wield it. I feel like she could pull it out of you. And we could use it like that. <laughs> uh, there's surely another way. If there was, I'm sure the goddess of magic and the greatest wizard who ever lived would have identified There's it. only two people. But alas. She... Only one solution She's is one goddess. That remains ahead of us for now. The heart of the Absolute must be discovered before I can stop its beating. Oh my gosh. You're not blowing yourself up, Gail. I won't let you. Let's save such certainty for the moment such a decision is upon us. You may feel differently once we know what we're truly up against. And with that, we'll go ahead and stop there. So thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to every single one of my patrons, including my acorns. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And thank you, Adam. Thank you for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. It truly means a lot. Thank you so much. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel. And I just cannot thank you enough, honestly. Thank you so much for putting up with me and being so supportive and being very nice. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.